Okay, so uh, I don't know how long that grease is there, was there for. Um, but Not too long. Yeah, I'm guessing it's still there when you guys are trying to get through that door. Yeah. I will summon Mr. Brooklyn through the door. When door opens. Can you summon him into an occupied square? Um, no, but I can't see. But if, if I can look in, I can see a space that isn't occupied. Let me, let me just make yeah, sure I can... Yeah, you're looking through a five-foot door, you can't see a ten-foot space necessarily. Um, I don't think I need to see the full ten, but I think it's just a five. That's my point. Can you summon him into a... Oh, like, so if I could... If He takes it, up four up... squares. If there aren't four squares for him to go into, he's being summoned sure. into an occupied square. Yeah, if I, if I can't see that fourth square and I don't know that something is there, then... That is true. Where the hell... Where's your range? Okay, close 25 feet plus 5. Yeah, I can put them where I want in this context. <clears throat> okay, so who's opening the door? I can't open it. So I can't look at it. Sounds like I'm opening it. No, Aaron volunteered. In, in text form. Oh, I don't like this. Alright. Well, I guess we could, I could slip across it. Alright. Um, um, I don't have... I'm a scion that doesn't have levitate. I'm are we, a in, are we in initiative? Um, uh, not until something yeah. happens. Okay, I'll have Jasper move that past the grease. Okay. Have him roll his reflex save. And the giant that, bird falls on the goo. 20, an extra... Well, and... start by moving him into the grease, because he's got to make a save first. Yeah. You can make a perception check, Aaron. You don't see anything. He has mass improved resistance and haste. <laughs> but hey, you can't critically fail on ability checks so, or skill checks. Well, I think it's a reflex save, right? It is a reflex save. I was telling that Aaron <clears throat> made a perception check on that one. Yeah, but it still means it's only a 17, which probably won't tell him anything. I forgot it's these, it's these really? weird. I forgot it's these Perception weird square down. rooms inside the other rooms. Okay, I'll I'll have him spend his other action to get out. Then I forgot about that. Seventeen is considerably more. He has to squeeze than... through that door. So. Yeah, but he's also hasted. I'm not not concerned about his movement. I was just saying, if he's going into the room, he has to squeeze through that door. Yeah, I I don't want him taking up all the space. I forgot they had those weird little square doors into the. Uh, like it's a door into a room with another door sort of situation. What I can what I can do is I can summon Mr. Brooklyn. I don't think they have another wall of force, but if they do, um, it'll basically be us waiting that out. But Mr. Brooklyn is designed to, like, it's better than if Aaron got wall of force, right? You know what? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll look into the room. <coughs> it's it's a room with a, just a door there. Yep, I'm uh, summoning Mr. Brooklyn right here. So I guess I should just click and drag Mr. Old Mr. Old Brooklyn. That way we don't have to use another. Well, are you summoning him into an empty room where we don't see anyone yet? Yep. Okay. He might. He'll probably. So we like, are die. back to the original question: Can you summon him into an occupied square? Um, if I can see four squares right here, and I have mind sight, doesn't mean that they're unoccupied. Well. I can see them if they don't, because I have mind sight, which means I know that people are within that spot, because I detect their minds and what their creature that, is. That is most excellent, but you said you looked into the room, didn't roll a perception check, and didn't give me any indication of your mind sight. True. Well, I'm, do I have to... 
you have to at least tell me that you have an okay. ability to see invisible I, I things thought like it was looking into a room okay. after I've asked you six <laughs> times if you can summon him into an occupied square. Well, I thought it was, we were talking about the room after this room, because I was like, well, there are no enemies there. I would be able to see I realize there's no enemies there. That was exactly my point. They're hiding. And what? because oh. they're hiding, you can't see them. Can you summon him into an occupied square? I'm pretty sure the answer is no. Well, I can see him, so... Did Jasper run into something, or no? Well, you said that you weren't going to send him into the room. I said he has to squeeze through the door, and you said I don't want him to go into that room. Okay, we'll say that I noticed it before he went to the room, then. Noticed what? That there was a door inside the room with the door. Yeah, no, that's that's totally fine. The second we open the door, Corey is like, Yo, there's someone right there, because I can see them. Um... Well, well, you you may or may not be able to see the two at the front, um, based on line of sight, but you uh, you definitely could see the two in the back because anywhere your vision goes, your uh, yeah. your mind sight can go. Energy wall, look up energy wall now. Um, could just burn them out. They leave, but. Is anybody? What? Have anybody else? He just sneaks. Why don't we just beat the shit out of him? Uh, sure. I don't have. I don't. I can't do that. <laughs> so it's up to you. But I'll um. I'll just tell everyone uh, with telepathy, because uh, I don't. I don't have to tell these people anything. I'll tell Aaron and McToan, and our technically present, not present characters. Um. Uh. I can see two in the very back. Just, I know I can't see them with my eyes, but they're just standing there. So every um, pretty weary, I suppose. You just want to attack them, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm not the melee guy. That's 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 her. That's everybody else's thing. If someone would like to deal with the the four CR six creatures, CR four creatures. What what protection right. resistance do we have? I guess I am gonna go in there. Well, Aaron, you we were told that they're there. So I got a back corner. So I need to make a balance check now. You need to make a reflex save when you step in and a balance check to move. Okay. Keep in mind, mechanically, they probably have readied actions for when you're within range to attack. Yep, but I can't see them, so... Not a lot I can do there. Are they making, like, the hide check with a negative 20? Because they're in plain sight? Or do they like have hide in plain sight? And I don't move. Well, they have cover from you and from everyone. Because you, the well, the thing is, Toem can see that warrior six. Or, like he can see into that space. Yes, but he can still hide in the corner. But if you're in plain sight, how do you? Hide? I don't know. Uh, I don't. I don't think there's. I don't use there. the plain sight rule because then I have to deal with who has cover and who doesn't. He's got a lamp. He's I'll save. Hide. He finds I, a good hiding spot in the room and hides there. Say bad, bad hiding spot. Not a, hide, not a hiding spot. You can't hide there because it's so you're, you're standing in the room. Poorly, do I fall or do I just not move? I think if you fail the balance check, you just can't proceed. You just see this dwarf slipping. Can't seem to move. A little cartoon action. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> a creature walking within or through the area of Greece moves at half speed DC 10 balance check failure means it can't move that round failure by 5 or more means it falls so yes you do fall oh I fell uh, boop, boop, boop. okay so so where are they in the room um, back corner I think the two that I can see with my mind sight are in the back back corner uh, there back corner there I'll target a sonic snap uh, sonic strike there because they're 
in cantri or uh, strikes, so I have a bajillion of them. Yeah. Okay. I, I will say, from this perspective, from Yinwick and specifically, there's no way he has anything to hide by. It's AOE, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. As long as I know they're somewhere in the room. Eight sonic damage, I think. Let me double check the strikes. Okay. And they can make a will save or be deafened, but I don't think that really matters, and it doesn't have the damage. Country. Let's go. What's the range on it? Uh, more than short. I mean, let me look. At What's that. the area? It's a five foot radius. It only hits okay. one of them. So you're hitting the warrior in the south. Yeah, I'm basically just trying to get them to come out. Yeah, my ready to action is to is to. Uh, actually, well, I know they're there. Actually, never mind. I'm I'm waiting to summon Mr. Brooklyn should the door behind them open. Excellent but. tactic. I was wrong. It's nine damage. Oh no, it's maximum of plus five. Okay, it's only eight damage. Also he's definitely does, okay. does anything visibly happen? Uh, nope. He re remains hidden. And then we can move to initiative. Hey. Initiative. That's the right thing, right? Yeah, plus one. Oh, but I've... Why? Well, that... I mean, I'm taking... Yeah, that's a negative five. Or negative... Actually, negative one, but it's upcast, so... With Starting strong yeah. with a zero initiative. Eight. Eight is my real initiative. Toem probably goes first because your dex is probably better than mine. I only got a plus one. But yeah, I did, uh, after that 5e game, I did start running 3.5. Because I'm more familiar with it, and I think the problems of that. 3.5 presents to new players are less problematic than the problems that 5e presents over the course of a year. Yeah, my issues with uh, 5e were systemic issues that made the game, for me, unplayable by about 10th level. That's when I think my characters got to 9th level in the 5e game I was running, and I was like, this isn't fun anymore. Like, I, I'm not enjoying this. The players aren't really enjoying it. They just think they like 5e, so they're, they're blaming it on other things. But the problem is just the core mechanic is terrible. You've got too many hit points and no ability to do damage, so everything takes forever to play out. Um, God, yeah, I hate that. Like, you do D8 plus 2 each round, but the guy's got 100 hit points. I was like, that's fucking 12 rounds of beating the guy with a stick, assuming you hit every single round. Wait. That's how MMORPGs do it. It's tried and true. That, yeah. I said, that's how have... MMORPGs oh. do it. You get some World of Warcraft in here. Yeah. To beat the raid boss for, like, literally an hour. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I don't have a problem with it in a video game context, but in a role playing context, it's I just didn't find it fun. I mean, that's, it's also much that's longer. Saying, like... That's what it feels like they're trying to emulate is like, like uh, raid based MMORPGs, and it just feels bad. I I hate the the legendary actions and like the special boss mechanics because they yeah. like one of the cool parts of D and D to me is that there's the uh, parity between how player characters work and how monsters work, and it makes like everything feel more immersive because they work the same way you do. Yeah, and I don't understand why you get to go because there's five people in the room instead of four people in the room. Like, I totally get that you can, during the other player's turns, take an action, but your action is dependent upon the number of people that are in the room. If you're fighting a red dragon, it doesn't get three legendary re reactions around. It gets one legendary reaction per person in the room 
I was like, okay, so you're way better off to solo the dragon because it only gets one action then. Yeah. Mm. And that's just a stupid mechanic. It's a lot of contrivances. But... but it is based on that idea so that you can scale it up to the number of players. I, I don't know. That was one of the things um, in Dan's game. Um, I was playing a Eldritch uh, Knight and we were fighting a vampire or vampire lord or whatever it is. And his special ability is every time someone attacked him, he could teleport or move 30 feet or whatever he got to do. Um, so he basically just bopped around the room everybody's turn. So he was never near anyone. Then when it was his turn, he'd go. And then we'd all chase him around the room. I was like, this is just stupid. Okay, so first thing that happens... Oh, that's not what we're but... made. We're okay. Something tells me if we hadn't taken an extremely long break, I'd have thought of this. Oh well. Actually, thought of that they might come out of that door, because now I remember that there was a mage in there and that they I'm ran a... into that door. Um, I don't like Yenwick uh, being. Attacked right now, so uh, immediate action. I'm gonna blow well, 20 power don't points. Don't have anything to immediately react to. Don't. Okay, so because technically, uh, but I don't know. I was writing my action for the other door to open. So even yeah, though I know you, the other door is open, mechanically, yeah, you, you uh, at this point you wouldn't know anything. Uh, I, actually, I guess you might be able to have line of sight to them, but you'd have to give up your readied action. At which point, it's initiative and it's not your turn. Yeah. If I'd cast Synchronicity, this wouldn't have been a problem, but I didn't. So. Fair enough. Okay, so he'll open the door and step into the room. Wow. Roll 20 is super fuckity tonight. Look. If, if something's got to happen, you got to be the one to make it happen. Resources. Um, okay, so he'll move up and attack. Um, what's his face? Ian Wick. Not proficient, pr particularly proficient, but. I am just fine. Hey, AC is greater than those numbers. <laughs> Ooh, much better. Am I flat-footed against this? Yes, you are. Then both those hit. Unfortunately, he's not a rogue. I really wish that roll 20 would save your dice roller based on the game. Ah yes, now I remember Yinwick has no damage reduction whatsoever. The term you're looking for is squishy. Very, very squishy. I need to get some armor weave junk next time we go back to town. Yeah, I was kind of surprised you didn't have that in the first place. Uh, I think this is the first game I played with you guys, so I was probably just not familiar with the rules. Fair enough. So, six and three from him. Um, I don't know why Aaron's uh, reach isn't turned on. Is that six and two? Yeah, six and two. Okay. But it's really obnoxious for me to try and uh, do combat when I can't see how far that you can reach. Uh, 
oh baby, a third one. Brave King Kill King. the rabbit. Kill the rabbit. I'm not a fan. Hits? Yes. Thankfully, they are just warriors. Oh, this did keep the old rolls. Okay. Why did we roll 38d6? I guess that was the disintegrate. Okay, I thought it didn't keep them based on the game. When we were playing Embers, it didn't keep any of my rolls from the previous session. So I thought they'd, they'd erase them. Embers is just okay, me. and I think that is it for the guys who will be able to get into combat. Oh god, that's right, Yinook has mobility! Forgot how much I love that feat. I don't know what that is from base 3.5, and that feat's kind of dog shit. Oh no, it's, there's, a, there's a better, there's a house world version. I mean, he's okay. I can just five foot. What was that? We'll be soon. He's uh, saying, like, Yenwick seems trapped, but on Yenwick's turn, I will no longer be in the way. Okay, so then the rest can just funnel into the room, and we can move on to Corey. Okay. So, I would five foot step this way. That's, that's a lot of enemies. Are any of those other buggers moving? No, there's nobody invisible in the room. Um, am I concerned? A little bit. I'm just wanting like some uh, sneaks and warriors are still moving. So, yeah, I, I said uh, they're just gonna funnel into the room. They can't get to anyone, so they're just gonna move up. All right. I will. Simple was how many powerpoints? Eleven. A nice Eleven. AOE shape. Yeah, it is. Do you have any AOE? I do, I do but. I need to take 3d8 points of damage because I, I like to hurt myself as a scion. Oh, wait. I was right here. So we'll just see what I see at the very beginning. I see that at the very beginning. Okay. Then I five foot and I can see this. All right. Well, I don't. I would like to do is <laughs> this a this fucking he's back in Kenku. Um, now that they've all moved, I'm gonna put Mr. Brooklyn over here. Got this space right here. Okay. So. I guess I'll just click and drag this token because this Mr. Brooklyn is effectively dead. Yep. That he is, is 95. Hello. And Mr. Brooklyn's job is to kill, and I guess I'll give him... Where is it? Can There's you a very see through him? Um, I can't see through him, but he can see well, fine. Yeah, I was just going to... It's going to yeah. be hard for you to fight if you can't see through him. Yeah, well, I'm, just, uh, I'm just telling Mr. Brooklyn to kill. So yeah, him, I, I have to adjudicate that, and you need to be able to tell me what you're killing. 
Uh, Mr. Brooks. Uh, he, so in this version of the game, does blindsight mitigate mirror images? Blindsight? Uh, yes, it would. Okay. Then I'm going to give him blindsight instead of the constrict ability. Uh, because I want him to hit thing. That's just one. At seventh level, it's one thing from C. Yep. Which means he spawns right next to this mage and has blind sight. Yeah, you he should probably, be able to see through him. He probably has stone skin. Eh, but even if I did have constrict with stone skin, it wouldn't help. So these are two plus twenty attacks. I'm hoping, assuming this is the macro. Oh yes, there we go. Mr. Brooklyn comes in for a hug. So that's first attack. That's second attack. Do a 32 and a 25 hit. He just goes on the same round order I do. The 25 is not a hit. The 32 would be a hit. Okay. So that's just 1d8? 1d12? Where are you, Mr. Brooklyn? You have two slams, plus 20, 1d8, plus 12. 1d8 plus 12, 17 points of damage. And what kind of DR does he overcome? It might not. It might not overcome DR. It's bludgeoning damage, but... Yeah, that's not going to help you. Uh, he has damage reduction, 10 magic, but... Are his weapons magical? Well, he, he is magic, so if it's DR 10, he'll overcome Whatever it. his DR is, is what he has as his penetration. Yeah, so... He has DR10 magic, so he overcomes magic penetration. Or magic DR. I think it's stone skin. Yeah. How much stone skin does he have? Is it 10? He has 10 hardness and 10 DR. Um, so how much did you do? 17? So just 17 on a stone skin. Yeah, let me finish okay. setting it up. I don't think he has any extra on it. Um, it's been so long since I've played this character, I can't even remember all his abilities. Yeah, I don't think he has anything that boosts uh, his stone skin, so it's just his flat level. Yeah. Wait, so isn't, uh, from your document, stone skin's only 10 DR? It's 10 DR and 10 hardness. Oh, okay. That's fucked up. You didn't buff stone skin, did you? Yes, I did. Why? Oh my god. Because, oh, I, was... because as a mage, if you're standing beside someone who can attack you like this, you die in one round. Yeah, don't do it. Now he's got plenty of hit points. Don't, don't, it don't. only lasts 10 minutes per uh, level instead of one hour per level, though. So <laughs> You're a mage. Slightly. You don't deserve to live. <laughs> you, have other, you got polymorph. You got mirror image. You got shield. You got all this bullshit. Yep. You don't need 10 hardness. All right, that's my turn. <clears throat> the real reason I uh, give it 10 hardness originally was because I had a player who had a plus 5 weapon, which meant that at any level of stone skin... Um, the plus five weapon overcame it, <laughs> so stone skin did nothing. That was obviously a uh slip up on my part as the DM, but uh, it also made sense in general. So I I removed the plus five requirement and made it level based, and then I put in the ten hardness as a base just so that it had something. Okay, um, you should be able to interact with the uh, stone skin token. Okay, so that's just uh, minus seven, I believe, because of hardness. No, all the damage the stone skin absorbs goes on the stone skin. Okay, got it. Negative seventeen. The first ten goes on there, and then if you don't overcome his uh, damage reduction, the next ten goes. Ah. That's my turn. Tell him it's your time to act. Oh, 
My turn, you said? Mm. Yep. Start by rolling your reflex safe. I mean, I'm already on the ground. Yeah, but you gotta stand up. I believe standing up. Every, ra every round you start your turn in it, you have to roll a reflex save or fall. So I'm falling from prone? Yeah, you try to stand up and you fall. Assuming oh, you're not just no. going to lay on the ground as your action, you fall. Was it your intention to lay on the ground as your action? No, I was going to try crawling out. Same deal. As soon as you try to stand up in any fashion, you're going to you have to roll a reflex save or fall. You don't fall far. Like if you try and like push up, or like a push up, you just slip. He's a dwarf. He never falls far. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess that takes my turn. Yeah, that's your action. Unless you've got uh, a spell, that uh, an exit of translocation. Yeah, that would require me having any gear. What? Why don't you have any gear? Because I haven't played. Well, you. Well, I know for a fact you have those boots have, of uh, yeah. swiftness. Yep, pick those up at like level four. You can buy things when you want. You just gotta check in with the DM to make sure you part of the session. Yeah, I know. I wasn't sure I was gonna be able to play tonight, but I was able to get out of work tonight. Um, hmm. I'm pretty sure you had an anklet of translocation. It's one of the first things you normally get. Yeah, I thought you did too. You have something yeah, that allows you to teleport. You've, teleport. You've used it before. I do, well, I do have something I can use as a move action to teleport. Well, your standard action would be you're falling on your ass, so if you can move action teleport, you could do that. Well, let's... Seems like a good idea to me. Oh. Lots of D2s have been rolled. Yeah, it's just for his maneuvers. Oh, it's a time of battle. I see. That's why I don't know what's going on. Okay. I did get lucky. All right, yeah, I can use my move action to teleport 50 feet. So... Do you have a uh, maneuver that allows you to do that, or is it a magic item? Yeah, it's a maneuver. But that, that's, why oh. I roll for, that's why I had to roll for it. I'll teleport in this corner here. It's Cadillac of defense magic. I teleport, but I'm still prone. Okay, and then we are on to Aaron. With a mighty six initiative. Spells are wearing off. Nice. Do you have cleaver? Was that your second attack? Who did you insta cleave? Oh, the twenty four guy? Okay, uh, then we're into Yinwick, somehow with a zero initiative. I rolled a one. 
Um, so if Jasper moves here, he needs to make a reflex save to move there and then a balance check. Is that right? Yes. Well, what is balance? Uh, I don't think he can do that. Um, he will move up here instead. Someone got in the way of his convenient five foot step. Wait, so I can. Hold on, I can, uh, as a standard action, you can make all his attacks, right? Because that's how all the other monsters work. Right? He can make all his attacks as a standard action? Yep. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so I will have him move here and try and fuck up this guy. He has a. Wait a minute. Let me. Th Sorry, it's been a while since I've actually checked this sheet. It's a good thing that we're gonna play for one session and then take another four month break. Yeah, we'll we'll definitely remember what's happening. Here. Okay, so you should have a plus fifteen on these. Thirty-two, so four, four higher gets, than they are in there. He gets two bite attacks. Ah, uh, because of haste. Oh, okay. How many rounds have you got left on your haste? Eight rounds. Does that does haste does the extra bite attack from haste apply to natural attacks or only uh only um uh only if you full attack? I don't understand your point. So haste normally only gives you the extra attack when you full attack. Yes, yeah. If he moved, he can't make the extra attack. Sorry. Okay, so he only gets that first bite. So. I mean, if I hadn't moved, he could have five foot. Yeah, I, I, I noticed that. But that's okay. I'm going to take that uh, that opening instead. I mean, get Bruce Savalier out of there. So I can see. God, I don't, I don't remember how bad he was in melee. <laughs> Or rather, it's damage reduction. Just multiple attacks is just not great with these rules. Doesn't help that you roll two net ones. Bite. So I will double five foot step over here with the power of mobility. Uh, and then I will cast a sound burst on this nice grouping of uh, sound burst shaped enemies. So that is a. Uh, I will uh, spontaneous heighten it so that is a DC 22 reflex save for all of them. Okay. And then also a fortitude save. You said reflex save? Reflex and then fortitude. Remember, remember boyos, I think I have one teleport left on my boots, so things get hairy. I actually don't know. I think we I think we took the walk. I don't think we teleported in here, did we? Or we might have. We might have teleported in here. Um, you guys use teleport to get back to the dungeon because it's uh, two or three. Yeah, I used away. it. I used it once to get in here. Another time to get into the western room, and I think once more to clear the wall of force. But I think we might have just walked in. It's a long time. Ago. We'll find out next session whether or not we can teleport. <laughs> How will we find out next session? Uh, we got we got the buzz. Is that 20 for all of them, or only for the warrior? Yeah, I just rolled one. Okay, uh, and then roll for fortitude to see if they get stunned. Oh, yeah. One roll, man. What is that? Two plus one roll two plus to two. rule them all. Hey. Well, not a lot of damage, but they're all stunned, which is good. All right, that's, uh, I'm going to move over here, and that's my turn. Oh, you're my hero. Okay, then we're on to initiative. That's right, we do that. Um, I can't cast anything above. I can actually cast a fourth level spell if I hurt myself. Oh, no, I can't. I just know the power points. Yeah, you only have seven <laughs> power points. Although, isn't that the cost yeah. of a fourth level spell? Uh, I think it's a third. Let me see. 
Seventh uh, Aaron, is... Aaron, did you hurt that warrior, or did I already mark him damage? It's a fourth level no, spell. I think I he him. did damage to one of them with his cleave through. Is it this one? The middle one? Yeah, he did damage to it. Okay. A two. <laughs> Natural one. It I'm dies. going last. Negative three is <laughs> my... Hey, me and Toem. We're good at rolling initiative. Look at us. I, you have a weapon, though. It's not fair. Don't you have a rapier? I do. I don't use it, though. It's just sheathed. Actually, it's not sheathed. I do have it. I don't know. I don't think I'd use it if it made me less reactive. Yeah, your uh, initiative is just based on whatever your standard action is. You can hold your rapier in your hand without any difficulty. Gives you a defensive weapon, so you're not uh, open to attacks. Yeah. I'm at, I do have that one level of ranger, so I'm, I'm at least trained to use it. I could probably... Uh, I'd probably stand good against a commoner. Oh, I forgot I had mirror image. Um... Probably a bad thing in this situation. Why is it a bad thing in this situation? I guess if we wanted to. Because I got him. hit by a bunch of small attacks, so that so I got hit four times. We so, can if you if you want to adjudicate, like it's up to I, you. I quote unquote heal fourteen damage, but I no longer have mirror image. Yeah, that's way worse. Okay. okay, so this guy will five foot back from Jasper. Oh, no, I they're stunned. stunned. They're all stunned. So I guess I'll just start this removing bottom those guy, icons. Is this bottom guy not stunned? Uh, no, I just haven't marked them all yet. Oh, okay. It's oh, sorry, turn. this guy actually didn't get hit. My bad. On the very, very right, like the warriors, uh, they're both warriors. The 28 hit points guy or the 54? 54. Okay. This guy did not get hit. The initiative tracker guy. All the rest are stunned, though. I'll start removing the markers just because. Does anybody remember what our energy resistance is? Like what, what we. Sp I know we definitely have fire. I have. Why, why mass are you resist energy markers? fires. Because, well, because they're taking the turn now, right? So they're not stunned anymore. Oh, they're only stunned for one round. Okay. Right. That's fair. Okay. <laughs> you set them in that direction. That's sad. Okay. Uh, we have mass, or I have mass resist fire. I don't know what you have. I wouldn't have anything more than you did unless you were dispelled. So. I do not believe I was dispelled. I know Aaron was the anti magic man for a while. Uh, 29 on Toem. Honestly, Aaron, if you want to get in, I think I cast True Sight on you? Is that what the Bleeding Eye is? Uh, we both have Sea Invisibility. Okay. And I couldn't remember if True Sight was dispelled earlier when he became... Yeah, all of Aaron's man. spells are gone. Unless we suddenly aren't using the Psionics Arcana... Separation, transparency, in which case it actually doesn't affect my sonic ability. Okay, well, can we just keep the chatter to a minimum when it's not your turn? Uh, Tom, eight points from the sneak. Let's see. And I don't think anyone else is going to go. So then we move on to the mages. And since we don't have anything else, we will target the room with a fireball. So Yinwick, uh, Kore, Jasper, and your familiar can make a save. Reflex save. This is not his domain spell, but he is plus two on it, so it's DC 23. My sheet will not open. Okay. Thank you, roll 20. 
Um, Can you turn on your push to talk so you're not constantly mumbling into the mic? Oh, I was just I was like talking. That's what I. I like to communicate my problems in case somebody's like, "Why are you not rolling?" I'm like, "Oh, I." I that can't. that is totally fine, except that it's really distracting. But when I just, I'm trying to do math and apologies. talk to the other kid players when you're constantly mumbling into the mic. Just won't talk. That's an option too. Forty-one points from the first fireball. What's the save we have to make? Twenty-three. Got it. Thirty-eight from the second one. Forty-five from the third one. How much is energy resistance? Minus 30 or minus 20? 30. Okay. Sorry, what is... Oh, the mages are out of power. Well, Fireball's a third level spell. They're out of high level spells. Which I think the uh, Archmage has a six level spell and a fifth level spell left. But he's used. Oh, he didn't use his domain spell, Mage Sword. But I need to get rid of this stupid uh, construct first. Cast what, my sword afterwards. My, my you, construct. I mean, is Jasper really a concern? He's no, big and scary, I guess. But. I'm not the least bit concerned about uh, Jasper. I'm worried about the golem standing over top of me. Ah, I thought oh, I that was. one. <laughs> the cypress. So he will start with a force missile. So that would be. Attack of Opportunity, unless he makes a concentration check. Yeah, which I guess you just automatically make now that it's on Spellcraft, right? Yeah, his Spellcraft is 30. Yep, he won't fail. And he can do a 4th level spell as a fast spell. I think Force Missile is every... Uh, four levels. Two D six points of damage. Oh yeah, it explodes. All creatures adjacent to the primary target, so he will step away from the primary target. That would actually have been a good thing to hit Jasper with. I'll have to write that down. In your grave. Jasper does not appreciate it. Yeah, one missile for every four levels. So five, so that'd be 10d6. So 26 points of force damage to Mr. Brooklyn. Mr. Brooklyn has spell resistance. Nope. He's made from Sonic, so it would have been power resistant. I mean, yeah, but he doesn't have that anyway. I think I can give it to him. 
when I summon it. But I didn't. And then we will go with a uh, I don't have anything else, so I might as well just use the lightning bolt as my main. So 45 points save for half. Lightning damage. Uh, and that's a reflex. Yeah. He's, uh, he doesn't have a good chance. Let's hope for a nat 20, everybody. Hopefully hoping. 23? Uh, his DC is 26. Ah, unfortunate. 